Welcome back. The problem of delay in the trial of high-profile cases has continued to be a cause of concern for the judiciary. And so to address the issues, the chief judge of the Federal Capital Territory convened a meeting with lawyers involved in high-profile corruption cases to prefer suggestions and solutions. Justice Ishak Bello says the meeting became necessary because of public concerns that lawyers are largely responsible for delaying cases in court. Senior lawyers and their juniors in the bar who are handling high-profile corruption cases in the Federal Capital Territory High Courts in the company of Georges of the FCT Judiciary, led by the Chief Justice, Justice Ishak Bello. What I said. The meeting is convened by the Chief Judge of the FCT. He explains the reason for the meeting. Yeah, the purpose of it is that we are concerned about the snail speed of trial particularly on these white-collar crimes, the corruption cases. And uh, there are accusations at the public domain that senior lawyers are responsible for the delay of these cases. One after the other, the lawyers who have been accused of delaying cases speak their minds. I don't want to blame the prosecution for all the problems. At times, the executive conduct may be obstructing the progress of a case before the court. I will not mention any case. The court should develop a template whereby if there is such interference, I'm not referring to any case, if there is such interference, you prohibit them from further continuing with the matter. Prohibit. It's done in other jurisdictions. When the eating order is given, it is as well as almost concluding that the person has committed in today's Nigeria. What they do is, they report the account, they have their account, they have their cash, and they say they have obtained an ancient order. You can go and see. It will take them three months from the day they collected the ancient order or to the day they will prosecute their clients. What do you do? The person is already intimidated. He's ready to negotiate anything with them. What happens? You want the court to decide a case without hearing and doing justice. You want everything to be sharp, 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 sharp justice. But when they are doing sharp, sharp killing, they don't know that if you resort, if you resort in congesting the courts. You know, what I'm trying to say, it may look funny, but I'm trying to say that the judiciary need not feel guilty for anything. The truth is, and that is what can only make criminal prosecutions effective, where there is seriousness devoid of political considerations to see to the justice of cases. For us to be efficient in the discharge of our responsibility, first and foremost, as ministers in the temple of justice, which is our paramount call, we must try to strike a balance between that responsibility and the motivation to pick any brief only because of what is indeed for us as lawyers. Well. Having listened to the defense counsels, the chief judge of the FCT says another meeting of this nature will be convened with the prosecutors, which will be followed by a joint meeting to ensure quick dispensation of justice.